Thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour, right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. And if you have a special request video that you want me to do, a celebrity you want me to expose, or a social media personality that you want me to look into and expose, or if you have some knowledge, you want me to drop some knowledge on a certain topic. Uh, that would be a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. All right, I want to touch base with you on this um, country star, Johnny Cash. It just came out that Johnny Cash, they said Johnny Cash, may first wife, may have been a black woman. And I looked at the picture, and I said, okay. This was, this is a, this, for you don't know who Johnny Cash is, this is a rising country star, you know what I'm saying, that was um, big back in the 1930s to the 1980s. And we all know back in the 1930s, racism was heavy, was heavy, you know what I'm saying. They, you know what I'm saying, when it come to black mingling in with white people, it was unheard of. You know what I'm saying? The white men grew up in the white household and they was taught not to, you know what I'm saying, like black folks. So when I'm seeing this, I'm looking at it, it says Johnny Cash, first wife, may have been black. Being that Johnny Cash was a star, actually he was one of the biggest stars, like next to Elvis back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, it is impossible to hide your, the color or the race of any wife that you may have. That's impossible. That's just like Joe Biden hiding the identity of his wife. That's just like uh, Barack Obama trying to hide the identity of who he is. You see how Barack Obama came to America and portrayed it to be a black man? And then we found out that he was not black, but he was actually, damn, an African. So it was impossible, right? His mama was white. His daddy was an African. So what does that make Obama? African, not black. You see? So why is this coming out now? You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen the picture, and the woman that was spotted with Johnny Cash did not look like his wife, but might have looked like, might have looked like a groupie. You know what I'm saying? And if this all you have is a picture, you know what I'm saying? And you are putting this picture off to be Johnny Cash's first wife. You know what I'm saying? This pic this woman in this picture can be anybody. If she can be a groupie, somebody who, you know what I'm saying, a bed witch, because that's you know what I'm saying, back in the nineteen thirties, that's what the black women with what oh oh y'all ain't hear me. Back in the 1930s, that's what the black woman was when they got themselves a white man. They was nothing but a bed wench. You know what I'm saying? They was just, you know what I'm saying, there to give that white man a good time. And hopefully that white man will give them a few dollars. Or hopefully that white man will give them whatever. But you know what I'm saying? Back then, racist was at an all-time high. But you ask, why is they saying this now? Well, who's responsible? To, see, or if you want to know why is this coming out now? All you have to do is follow the money. You know what I'm saying? Who is responsible for Johnny Cash's catalog? <laughs> hear that? Hear that? Let me back it up. See, they don't like me. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? Because I speak the truth. You know what I'm saying? Who is responsible for Johnny Cash's catalog? And Johnny Cash catalog will increase in value if it was heard that Johnny Cash had anything to do with a black woman. Why? Because who is the biggest consumers of products and services in America and worldwide today? Is it not black people? Black women, majority, ma, majority, uh, 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 majority black women is the biggest consumers of products and services. 
the black men only buy the products and services because the black women like it. So the black men try to appease what the black, you know what I'm saying, to get the women, they want, they got to appease to what the women like. You see, so that's why in the earth, the elites put the black woman up on a pedestal. Give the black woman uh, platforms. Give the black woman benefits. Give the black woman everything because they know the black man is going to fall right up under the black woman. You know what I'm saying? When that's supposed to be unheard of because it's supposed to be the black man first and then the black woman. But you see, uh, you're in Babylon and the, they got it turned upside down. So, all of this is just to increase Johnny Cash's catalog. Increase the value of Johnny Cash's catalog. You know what I'm saying? After this came out, you're going to have a lot, of, a lot of new generationers. Because this guy was back in the 1930s to the 1980s. Mostly everybody from the 1930s to the 1980s, to believe it or not, most of them are dead. Yeah, you really, really hardly will never hardly see, you really, really hardly see any survivors of the 1930s to the 1980s. So what is this going to do? Influence the, this generation into loving and wanting to hear Johnny Cash. I guarantee you, watch Johnny Cash streams quadruple. Ever since this news story dropped that he was, his first wife was black. It's going to crowd duple. The streams, you're going to have more people searching for Johnny Cash. YouTube, people are going to be searching for Johnny Cash. And who is responsible for the ad revenue from the YouTube searches? Who's, who, who, gets the, who gets that ad revenue? See? All you have to do is follow the money. You know what I'm saying? Who gets the streams from the uh, uh, the social media platforms? Who get that? Where does it all go? All you have to do is follow the. You know what I'm saying? Whoever is managing, um, whoever is managing Johnny Cash's catalog, that is who is doing this. I won't be too surprised if. They sell Johnny Cash's catalog after they done build up the streams. They sell Johnny Cash's catalog to somebody, you know what I'm saying, for such and such amount of money. I won't be too surprised. But you know what I'm saying? No, I don't, I'm not going to believe that Johnny Cash's first wife was black. When, you know what I'm saying, when back then all of the white folks only looked at us black folks as slaves. It, it was it was a it was an immoral thing to them to even consider a black woman your wife. It was immoral back in back in the nineteen thirties. Oh come on, you were just considered a bed wench. You know what I'm saying? But why is they coming out with this now? Because see, they know that our curse is up. The black folks who was brought over here on those cargo slave ships and, and Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse, yeah, read the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. The black folks that was brought over here on those cargo slave ships, you know what I'm saying, was brought over here to serve out the remainder of the curse that the Lord has put upon them because of their disobedience in the promised land. That curse is up. We are waking up. We are waking up, and as we are waking up, our God is starting to hear us now. Our God is starting to help us out now. Our God is going to give us the light so that we can shine now. And they know that their kingdom is coming down. It's no longer them going to be over us. It's going to be us over them. So what they need to do? They need to shake our hands now. They trying to get back, you know what I'm saying, in good graces with us now. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, I don't have nothing against no white man. I don't have nothing against no white woman. I'm not racist by a long shot. You know what I'm saying? So you would never, ever catch me, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, talking, you know what I'm saying, evil. I'm only talking truth. You understand? 
but the reason why this news story came out, just look at who's the manager in the catalog of, of Johnny Cash. You know what I'm saying? They, once again, it is the white man using the black man for their own personal gain for their own piggyback. The same way the white man used Jay-Z to build up Tidal. And after Tidal had been built up and got all them people subscribed to Tidal, what has Jay-Z got to do now? Force his and sell his share of Tidal to the white man, which is the owner of Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Look at Oprah. Oprah then built up their own network on a cable network and now look at her now she got to sell off all of her shares you see they use the black man to for as a piggyback to build up their business and then when they don't need the black man no more that's that but anyway this is news if you guys have any news reports that you want me to do or celebrity you want me to expose or a social media like that you want me to expose and do a video on or, you know what I'm saying, some knowledge you want me to enlighten you with. Well, it's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you all.